lovelies, this is Megan from Megan Moves Maine and today I'm here to talk to you about heat friendly wigs. Now heat friendly wigs, they're a little bit more upkeep than your standard synthetics. They actually require heat to keep them looking nice. So I bought Drive, which is the wig that I've got in my hand. I bought Drive um, December I would say and I think I've only worn her maybe two, three times or for less than four hours each time because she is a lot of upkeep and I do struggle with heat friendly pieces. Now the wig that I'm wearing today she's called Illustrious and she's by Natural Image and she is a standard synthetic so she doesn't need any heat and I would say she's a good sister wig so if like me you struggle with your heat friendly and the upkeep of heat friendly she's a really good dupe. Okay let's take you through the process. So what I use to revitalize my heat friendly pieces so I have some really, really cheap straighteners from Amazon. Now these are perfect because they have the heat dial and it's digital, so it will tell you the exact temperature. So heat friendly pieces, I normally keep below 160. Now I would check the manufacturer's guidelines. Each manufacturer has their own guidelines on what temperature you should use on your heat friendly pieces. The other thing I use, brush, brush, fine tooth comb and a clip to clip the hair back. All right, let me put Drive on the clamp and then we'll get started. Okay, so Drive is on the mannequin head. I bought the mannequin head from Amazon, I'll list it below, but it's just brilliant because it's got a clamp on it. So you can pop it on a table, you can pop it, anything with a ledge, you can, you can just clamp it on and it's absolutely fantastic. I've used this so many times, it's absolutely brilliant. Okay, so as you can see, Drive, I've only worn her a couple of times and she has become really clumpy and quite frizzy. So I'm just going to give her a quick revitalise and we'll, we'll go through the process. I'll give her a quick brush through. Be really gentle. And then I will section her. So for the hair to straighten effectively, the hair does need to be damp. So what I use, it's just a clear spray bottle that I've purchased and I've just popped water in that one. So I'll spray down the section that I want to straighten. And I'll also put some heat protector on. So this one is from Christina Young and it's heat protection. So I'll spray that down as well. Just finally, you don't need an awful lot. Then these are the straighteners. As you can see, they're now at 160. I get the, the fine tooth comb and brush through. And then slowly go through. Now it will sizzle and that's okay. That's what you want. You want it to sizzle. absolutely terrified me at first when I heard that sizzling noise because I thought that it was singeing the hair but no that's what you want you want it to sizzle a little bit <laughs> okay and then we'll go to the next section water heat protectant comb straightened. Again, there's that sizzling. You can hear it now, can't you? There we go. And what this will do is it will get rid of those frizzy ends and it will stop it from clumping for the next few wears as well. So there we go, all done. And as you can see, the brush now goes straight through her. There's no clumping. The fibres are now back to silky smooth and they feel like the day that I first bought her. So right, let me put Drive on and I'll show you how she looks. So 
So here she is, this is Dry by Ellen Villa. And as much as I struggle with heat friendly pieces, she is such a beautiful piece. I mean, this hairline is so natural, as is the part line. She just looks stunning. She's a lovely low density and she just looks really, really natural. And she's a really pretty colour. So if you're looking for a heat friendly piece and you're okay with the upkeep and you like the fact that maybe you can curl her, then Ellen Villa Drive is a really, really good option as well. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.